bill aimed at cracking down on protesters faces a roadblock. Lawmakers were targeting protesters like these who demonstrated on the UNC campus while wearing masks. The proposal would ban wearing masks in public altogether. Now WRL's NC Capital team has learned the idea may be in trouble. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. The bill in the state Senate last week passed in a party line vote. Republicans voting for it, Democrats voting against it. Now the bill is in the House and some Republicans disagree with it, pushing back on their colleagues in the Senate. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the legislative building. So Laura, where is the disagreement on this? You know, ever since this bill passed the Senate last week, House lawmakers are telling me, and Senate as well, telling me that they have been flooded with calls and messages from concerned people worried that they're not going to be able to protect their own health. And that's what's leading some House Republicans to say they can't support this as it stands. Evelyn Hawthorne is a multiple myeloma patient. Her cancer treatment has left her with a very weak immune system. She wears a mask in crowds on her doctor's orders. She couldn't believe it when she heard about the proposed ban. And I've been living like a hermit, and this is just going to make it worse. Bill supporters say police wouldn't charge people for wearing masks for health reasons. But Hawthorne said masks have become so political that she already gets dirty looks and nasty comments about wearing one. She thinks the ban would make that worse. If that bill went through and somebody decided to, to cause a fuss and someone called the police, I would, they would have the ability to charge me with violating the law because I was wearing a mask. Dr. Cameron Wolf treats patients like Evelyn at Duke. He plans to continue to advise them to wear masks because that's what scientific evidence supports. To sort of drag that into what is fundamentally a sort of a, a political bill looking to try and score some points here is, is just really sad. Representative Erin Paré says she's heard about this from many constituents. If I have a cancer patient who wants to go to the, the drugstore um, and is concerned about picking something up, they have every right in the world to put a mask on and no one should even question that. Paré says she will not support the ban unless the health exception is put back in. This has just went the wrong direction pretty quick and we have to fix it. Apare is one of several House Republicans who are saying this. We also learned today that the bill's original sponsor, Representative John Torbett, says he will not support the bill either until that health exception is put back into place. That vote could come as early as Wednesday or Thursday. Very interesting development there. Laura Leslie live at the Legislative Building. Thank you, Laura.